service, thank you. Actually, it is a cocktail, non-alcoholic coffee. the side bitch do not disturb <laughs> I've told you we're not doing a video this week sorry YouTube um, I'm on holiday actually thinking about it that's a bit unfair because you're not really ever on holiday on London Marathon training you need to put a day aside a week so I'm gonna give you three words are you ready word number one scheduling number two pacing number three roots no not that type of route i know my dad's a hairdresser no roots as in running roots can we talk scheduling it's so so important that between now and the london marathon itself that you create yourself a schedule now i usually do three to four runs a week but one run is specifically my long run it's the run that i increase by one mile every week so so important to remember only increase by a mile a week not more than that because otherwise you could get an injury there's no point doing one 10 mile run one week and going straight to 15 the next please only do go up by one mile a week very important now with the scheduling i put aside one day a week specifically for long runs so for me it's a wednesday morning for you it can be any day that suits you it doesn't really matter but i kind of put it into my diary like a meeting it's in there it cannot be cancelled so we go and have a look at my schedule onto the little ipad hi right so you can see that in week one on wednesday 3rd of jan i did my 10 mile run week two i go up by one mile to 11 miles and so on and as we scroll down and um, we go a little bit down further you can see that um, I you kind of stop increasing for a while because you put into doing the big half it's amazing if you get the chance to do a half marathon about six weeks before the London Marathon it's a great way to learn how to pace yourself we're going to talk pacing in a minute um, if you're not doing a half marathon then you can reschedule yourself because what we're trying to do is we've got to get a 20 mile run in before the london marathon you want that 20 miles into your legs you need it without that it's going to be very hard to succeed the london marathon so you can rechange the schedule it's up there for you to have a look at and uh, hopefully follow it increase a mile a week and we'll have you on that finishing line the sea is waving at you hi and i want to talk to you about pacing it's so important that for the London Marathon, you pace yourself. Use your training to work out what pace you're gonna run it in. Remember, when running, if you wanna work out a pacing, if you can speak while running, you're at a good pace. If you can't speak, <gasps> slow down, babes. Um, if you charge off, you're not gonna actually achieve the marathon in a good time. You wanna work out your pacing. So say, for example, you work out, oh, I'm gonna run a four hour marathon. When you, when you position yourself at the start line, start yourself with the four hour marathon people. If you start with the three hour people, you're gonna be charging off. You're not Speedy Gonzalez. First time I filmed that, I couldn't say it. <laughs> I said it now. Oh dear. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> so really important, work out your pacing. And there's a really good way of sorting out what your pace is, as I said, it's, it's go on to I've got a Garmin watch I love this so I go on to here go on to run it find, look oh, wow that's amazing so this is the amazing thing about being away it finds the satellite immediately no clouds in London takes five six minutes to find it and literally you're gonna when I'm gonna go off for a run in a couple of minutes so once I'm gonna go and do my run so this is my training day um, I'm gonna try and do a 12 mile run and you're gonna see that I'm gonna try and work out my pace. At the moment, my pace is about eight and a half minutes to nine minute miles. And I try and stay at that pace for the whole 12 to 13 mile run that I'm gonna to do today. So pacing, work out your pace, stick to it on marathon day, and you will finish in the time that you want to. But if you charge off at the beginning, you won't. Okay, so you've got your schedules. You now know that you should be around this time of the year at 10 or 11 miles. You're gonna increase by one mile a week and we're gonna get you up to 20 miles before the London Marathon. We really need a 20 mile run in those legs before the big day itself. But to achieve any of that, 
you really, really got to create routes. It's so difficult to keep your interest in such a long run. The best way of doing it is to find a route that is half the distance away from home and the second half is obviously running back home. And of course you can do it anywhere in the world. I'm in Spain and today I'm going to go and do my 12 mile run. I'm not sure of my route yet, so I'm going to create it now, but I'm going to be running six miles away from here and six miles to get back. No money on me. I'm going for a run, 12 miles is the goal today, and I've created a route here in Spain, six miles away from the hotel and six miles back. And that car is not giving me a lift. I'm running it. Neither is this car. I'm gonna run it, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, I've created a route, six miles away from the hotel, six miles back. I'm gonna go now, and when I get back, well, I'll see you in 12 miles time, and then I can prove to you with my Garmin watch, I've done it, how I pace myself, I'm running in about eight and a half to nine minute miles. So join me at the end of my run and we can chat about you subscribing. So you know I said about creating routes. Ooh, <laughs> I'm starting to eat my words a little bit. I'm three miles in, still got another 10 miles to go. I'm completely lost in Spain. All I can see, and hopefully you can see, is mountains. Having said that, absolutely love running in the sun, but these hills, Wow! Anyway, I better get back onto this run. I'm completely lost. Um, somebody Google map me. Help! Oh, I'm not back in say, an hour and a half. Call the police. Oh my god. I'm kind of slightly mistimed that, so uh, that was, uh, well, I did 13 miles in, hang on, 13 miles in one hour 53 and 25 seconds, and I, I kind of paced it around, so I need to get my breath back. Uh, I paced it around eight and a half to nine minute miles, really, really happy. Some of those hills, wow. Um, I kind of mistimed my route, so. In my Garmin says here, uh, one hour, 58 minutes and 14, but did 13 and a half miles. Um, it's really hard to plan routes abroad. I've got to tell you that, but I did it. The hardest thing is crossing the road because you forget which way the traffic goes. The opposite to obviously the UK. But anyway, very, very happy. Oh, hang on one more thing I must do. Follow me on map my run. I'll just stop that a second. Uh, you can see my routes. You can I can create my routes in London. So, uh, Hold to finish. Hang on, that's what I did. Hang on, can you see it? Uh, hang on, oh yeah, I got press save. Ta da! Oh look, there's me. Oh no, get off. You're not advertising, not unless you pay, babe. Uh, oh, I can't see. You'll find it anywhere on Map My Run. Anyway, so I did my 13 mile run, proving, I don't know, several things. First of all, proving you can run anywhere in the world for London Marathon training. You've got to pace yourself. I kept to my pace and I created routes. What more could you ask for? apart from a shower.